Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome to Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 5. Saison 5, dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte Deponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne-Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et And maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, dear listeners. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. Welcome to this spot format, which once again focuses on the rehabilitation, not of an ordinary, but of an emblematic project. After four years of renovation and restoration work by Atelier Ferré Architecture and Châtillon Architect, Wyon's Palais des Congrès reopened its doors this summer. I quote, In-depth surveys and archival research, in close collaboration with the contractors, have enabled us to restore the building from the scale of the volumes to the details of the hardware, lighting and materials that make this building so rich. The choice of such a fine and complete restoration of the Palais des Congrès de Royan is the mark of a new impetus for the promotion of 20th century architecture in general and that of the reconstruction period in particular, end of quote. Testifies Elena strifling marcu project manager, Châtillon Architect. François Châtillon, associate architect and founder of the agency, Specializing in this type of rehabilitation, speaks of the original building himself. I quote, You have to walk through the building as the sun declines over the sea to understand the poetic intensity of light and color that extends that of the seascape. The architects have captured this atmosphere. The building is a masterpiece. End of quote. From the outset, the rehabilitation project had to reconcile multiple objectives. Restore the building's image and architectural richness, altered by too many interventions since its construction. Restore the building's programmatic vocation and bring it up to safety, accessibility and comfort standards, as its operation was no longer compatible with the needs of a 21st century event venue. The project also enabled the installation of a Centre d'Interprétation de l'Architecture et du Patrimoine, CIAP, on the first floor, providing the town of Royan with a space dedicated to promoting the region's extraordinary architectural heritage. Royan, cradle of modern architecture. Indeed, the town of Royan is a seaside resort with a certain reputation. It owes its formidable growth to the Second Empire. But, destroyed by a light bombing during the liberation battles of the Second World War, traces of the pre-war period are still scarce. In 1949, the government of the time designated it as a priority for reconstruction. From then on, it was a matter of rethinking the city. The project was entrusted to Bordeaux architect Claude Ferret, appointed town planner and chief architect for the reconstruction of Royan. Claude Ferré made the town an example of the architectural and urban planning culture of the 1950s. The new town was built according to the principles of the mouvement moderne. Aesthetics were based on functionalism and rationalism, with an unprecedented relationship between building form and use. The programme included the creation of France's first Palais des Congrès, designed by architects Claude Ferré, Adrien Courtois and Pierre Marmouget. After four years of construction, the building was inaugurated in 1957. Remarkable for its modernism, it made a lasting impression with its facades featuring porthole panels designed by the famous Atelier de Maxéville, founded by the great Jean Prouvé. In the 1970s, a series of works began, gradually altering the original design. Modification and closure of the basement, historically built on stilts, creation of a second seaward facade, 
construction of a cube extension on the city side, creation of numerous vertical and horizontal partitions within the building, the colorimetry chosen by the architects was lost, as was the oval shape of the conference room, and the spiral staircase, so characteristic of the building, was demolished. By the early 2000s, the facility was showing its age. The Palais des Congrès de Royan was becoming increasingly neglected. Its avant-garde shape and technology no longer met contemporary needs. In 2004, the building was awarded the Patrimoine du XXe siècle, 20th century heritage, label. And in 2011, it was listed as a monument historique, historical monument. Against this backdrop, an architectural competition was launched in 2017 to redevelop the Palais des Congrès. The Atelier Ferré Architecture Châtillon Architect Consortium won the tender with a deliberately committed project offering a genuine restoration of this emblem of architectural and programmatic innovation from the Reconstruction era. The rehabilitation project contains four fundamental elements. The rebirth of the 50s architectural volume, architecture to show, invisible technical upgrades for a more efficient building, rediscovered colorimetry. The project to restore the Palais des Congrès has resulted in the rebirth of the architectural volume designed by Claude Ferret in the 1950s. The building's original layout was restored by removing later additions, a conference room, the Salle Saint-Ange, two bars on the first floor linked to the terrace, exhibition and reception areas in the restored Galerie Seudre, offices and meeting rooms. The north-south layout of the Palais des Congrès makes it possible to observe the effects of light on the exterior and interior volumes at different times of the day. The rediscovery of the transparency of the portholes on the prové panels of the Salle Saint-Ange is accompanied by projected shadows that cover the room in the low-angle light of late afternoon. Châtillon Architect testifies to the colors rendered. For, I quote, Colorimetry is an essential feature of the architecture of Claude Ferret's building. With its refined style, architectural fluidity, and the color of its white concrete, the Palais des Congrès constantly asserts its influences drawn from modern Brazilian architecture. The use of white, counterbalanced by the colorful composition, highlights the architectural elements and open spaces that articulate the building. As the facades are mainly composed of prouvé panels from the Maxiville workshops, Architects Claude Ferret, Pierre Marouget and André Courtois also chose to compose the design of the facades and metal frames using the Prouvé color chart. The two main colors, found by stratigraphy and restored, are vermeer grey and lemon yellow, present on the garden and seafront facades. The particularity of the Palais des Congrès design lies in the ingenuity of the architects in superimposing the Prouvé panels to create a curtain facade of alternating colors. On the reverse side of this facade, the metal framework contributes to the design of the interior composition, highlighted by the dynasty blue. Floors and ceilings are another fundamental element in the interpretation of space. Like a backdrop, they contribute to the unity of the volumes. The mosaic, with its play of carpets and bands of alternating black and blue, plays an important role in the expression of the floors on each level and the continuity of the spaces between interior and exterior. The ceilings, meanwhile, have been repainted in a deep orange, also found through stratigraphy and photographic archives. The light is soft, warm and uniform throughout the entire space. End of quote. Do we believe that heritage is being neglected? The Châtillon Architect Agency insists on the new impetus it sees for the promotion of 20th century architecture. Today, 20th century architecture is increasingly recognized 
both historically and culturally, it says. The agency adds, On the one hand, because the times now demand that we capitalize on what already exists in a practical and ecological way, but also because our view of recent architecture is changing and the contributions of its designers are now recognized and valued. In line with the French Ministry of Culture's 20-year policy of awarding the Remarkable Canterbury Architecture Label, formerly known as Patrimoine du XXe siècle, the Ministry has launched a new architecture prize in 2023, Le Palmarès Réhab 20. The aim of this prize is to reward exemplary renovations for buildings from the second half of the 20th century in France. Further proof, if proof were needed, that recent architecture has entered a new life cycle. Thanks to the efforts of the city of Royan, France's first Palais des Congrès has once again become a real place to live, a cultural attraction, but also a place to relax, a privileged and emblematic place in the city, a gateway to the sea and to the architecture of the Reconstruction period. End of quote. This is neither a profound transformation nor a radical reversal, but an extremely respectful restitution, because the program allows it, and of the quality that the exceedingly competent Châtillon Agency has accustomed us to discover over time. So there are as many ways to rehabilitate as there are situations. For each project is unique, at once a witness to history and a projection into a hypothetical future, which we hope will be more auspicious than it seems. Intelligence is the name of the game. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. See you next week for a new Kamdashi. Until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. And thanks to the sound engineer who was collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcasts or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.